Thanks for tuning in the channel today. Please hit that like and subscribe down there in the corner if you've got a second to do that. We are building a 100 gallon diesel tank today. I've got one of these already built, really like it. Wanted to build a second one. Um, it's just really nice. I put a basically built a structure for pallet forks for your tractor. You can pick it up, you can move it, load it in the truck, go fill it up, bring it home. And uh, it's really nice to pull the tractor in, be able to fill it up, you know, or get done with the lawnmower. I can top it off every day. It's, it's just very handy to have it. And uh, anyway, just wanted to add a second one. You know, when your equipment gets, you know, you've got a 30 gallon tank in your tractor and you've got a 15 gallon tank in your lawnmower, it just, it starts to be a lot of fuel cans that you're having to pack around. These things make it easy. You know, when I built the last one, I said, man, I should have built one of these a long time ago. I've been packing fuel cans around for skid steers and, you know, all those things. I know a lot of people haul them in the bed of their truck. You can do that as a toolbox. I like mine stationary. I want to load it up, go fill it up, put it back on my front porch, and uh, I just fill up as I need it. So anyway, let's turn around, show you what we got, and uh, show you what we're going to put together. So basically, like I said, pick this up at Tractor Supply. It's a better built, just a black tank. 100 gallon it's got four little legs on it and then here i built this out of four by eight channel 188 thickness um, basically it's two 14 inch pieces right here and these are two 50 inch pieces it's a little bit longer than the fuel tank but i've got to leave a little bit on the edge for the battery box on this side so once i did that i took it to coastal powder coating here in victoria those guys powder coat all my stuff, man. It is great. You drop it off, they blast it, they powder coat it. Two to three days, you pick it up, it's ready to go. So, can't beat that. When you're going to pick out a pump, you know, I go with these GPI pumps. Like I said, you get them at track supply. They're very good pumps. Just notice when you buy, some actually have the click off nozzle. See this auto shut off nozzle? You'll see one that's a little bit cheaper if you don't get that. And of course, you can make a big mess. I really like these because I can turn the pump on click the handle and walk away from it just like filling your vehicle um, it's all pretty good quality the fuel tank I have outside I've had built for over I think almost two years now still looks brand new still works like new and I've never had any issues the other part I buy generally at TSC also is I'll get you a fuel filter separator okay so here's the two things I didn't end the video earlier this is the GPI electronic digital meter like I said, just got a little display button, you push it, it shows how much has been pumped through it. Um, it's already got the one inch to three quarter reducers on it, which is nice. And then this is just this battery that came out of my Can-Am. I put one of those, I upgraded to an Odyssey battery for the sound system and I had that one left over. So we're gonna make use of it today. Okay, so I went ahead and got the battery box installed, threw the battery in there, and then uh, got the tank bolted to the skid. Everything's good to go down there on the bottom. So now we just need to work on the top here. Let's get this camera set up. Okay, so the first thing we've got, we've got this top piece for the fuel pump. And get that installed. Okay, the next thing you're going to have to do once you get that installed is we get your pump over here and take a look at it. If you look, it's threaded on the bottom down here. Okay. Now, there's two plastic tubes in here. There's this piece and then there's an extension right here that come with it in case you have a deeper tank. Uh, this tank right here, you take this piece right here, extend it out. This should touch the bottom. So if I'm looking at it right there, this tube right here with the, the extendable tube is going to be plenty of long to get me to the bottom of my tank. Um, and then as you screw the pump down, it'll self-adjust. It'll come down to where it needs to be. <clears throat> so we'll get some Teflon on this.
Okay, so we've got our battery hooked up. Most part, tightened leads down. Got the fusible link in. That tied in. I'll probably put a screw in and mount that down after we get the tank full of fuel. Runs up there. And then you can see here, that's your discharge. And check it and pump works. All right, so let's work on getting our meter, our hose, and our filter on. Okay, and the last two pieces that you'll have left to get done on this is basically just putting your fuel nozzle on and your fuel hose. Now, I've got my nozzle, got the hose. The only two things I don't have, and on my other tank, I installed a flex at the end on the filler, and uh, it works really good, and I don't have one of those, so I'm gonna need to order one to get one of those in before I put that on. But let me show you on the other tank why you might need two flexes. Okay, so if you look at this tank, I've had this tank about two years. Um, it's kind of built the same. I put the meter on the other side of the filter on this one just because I didn't want that nipple on this pushing out as far. The other thing that I said I would change is see, I've got a three quarter flex here on this line, which works really good for the nozzle. But I want to put a three quarter flex here because if you notice, this kinks up all the time right here. I'm actually going to order me an extra one so I can put a flex here so that that'll fold down instead of kinking every time because it does restrict the flow on the pump and slows your fuel down. But this is basically the same tank I built two years ago. Works well. Very nice, I back my equipment up in here, pull the tractor in here, fill it up, very easy. So again, I'd like to say thanks for watching the video today. Please hit that like and subscribe down the bottom right hand corner. And we've got some new products coming in this week and we'll have some more reviews coming out. So catch you on the next one.